Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 19th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather updates as well. A look at earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking here the last 48 hours, still seeing some minor C-class solar flares, but nothing major since that run of M-class solar flares. We have five sunspot regions earth facing right now and one pretty big one cresting around coming into an earth facing view quick look at it here as it did produce that large cme plasma filament eruption there's also a smaller sunspot region in the southern hemisphere and then uh, looking at the outgoing imagery here as we have those two sunspots still fighting for supremacy northern and southern hemisphere just below the equator and above outgoing imagery large cme taking off in the last few images another closer look at this large sunspot region coming in it's not too organized just yet but it is still firing off some activity all these images brought to you by solar dynamics observatory Another light here at multi-spectrum. That large plasma or large sunspot coming in on the top left-hand side. And as well, noting out that CME in the last frame heading out on the northeast region. Hundred and ninety-three angstroms here. We could see the darkened regions, which are the coronal holes that they are earth facing right now. We're already seeing an accelerated wind stream just recently another coronal hole developing ahead of that large sunspot region cresting we are in solar cycle 25 which is a maximum and this will last for a decade and then we will be into our minimum quite possibly a grand solar minimum solar x-ray flux remains in c range as you can see there two Three strong class C flares, but nothing major to report. Geomagnetic activity sitting at about a KP index of two after hopping up to four earlier today, thanks to this accelerated solar wind stream. We're sitting at about 400 right now, jumping up to 520 kilometers per second. As we are streamlined at about 300 to 350. And then something changed after the density bunches were hitting us at 41.7 here we are looking at all the solar flashes affecting our planet highest frequency affected this is the d1 absorption map also observing that sun diving comet here with the lasco 3 and all of the most recent activity from the last three days on our star watching in the last few images you'll see that large eruption and that is indicative here on the ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing yesterday's small CME blast towards BEPI satellite. And then here, two mass explosions taking off in an outgoing position. Set to quite possibly enhance our already incoming solar wind stream. Looking at the 20th into the 22nd for that to come in. Schumann resonance for today is a low power of 5, amplitude of 10, and a quality of 8.2, frequency max 7.82. Let's have a look at earthquakes the past 24 hours, as it hasn't been very busy. Still roughly just over 220 earthquakes across the USGS map. We're going to start out here with the largest, 5.2 in Beseo. Philippines and as well the Mindano Philippines 4.9 earthquake 5.1 earthquake here just north of Krakatoa in southern Indonesia as well a 4.7 there off the coast 4.5 here Myanmar recently a 4.2 there border with Russia and China 4.5 there Xinjiang that was yesterday and as well yesterday Turkey Syria border so not much as Happening there through the European plate. South Sandwich Islands detecting a 5.0 earthquake. South America seeing some activity today. Antofagasta, Chile 5.0. A 
as well at 4.4 in Chichas, Peru and Peru Ecuador border, seeing a 5.0 and a 4.4 there towards the Cocos Plate. The Caribbean, somewhat quiet today, largest through the region, being a 3.6 Virgin Islands. Overlooking the United States, largest through the region was a 3.0 in uh, Texas, or sorry, White City, New Mexico, as well a 2.5 there, Texas. Minor activity in Idaho, quieting down through Hawaii. Minor activity increasing up into the Gulf of Alaska and northward towards Kaktovik. Couple four pointers there through Papua New Guinea, but still very quiet through this region today. A little bit concerning. 4.9 earthquake there, Tonga, deepest being 179 kilometer depth. So expecting something deep to come along here through the Tonga region. Quick browse at the last seven days for earthquakes as the largest that we've seen the past seven days was up into Alaska, the 6.3. And as well, a 5.7 up into Japan. Other than that, not too much to report. Peculiar 5.4 earthquake through Texas. Quick look at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. All of those elevated rings are deep earthquakes. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and most recent volcanoes getting updated. Sabancaya in Peru, Fuego in Guatemala, Senge in Ecuador, Cotopaxi still in Ecuador. And he's been rumbling now for about a week or so. Reventador in Ecuador. Ecuador is a poppin' recently. Popa Paquetito in Mexico. Shavluch in Russia. Semeru, Indonesia. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. And that's all in the last 24 hours. So nine volcanoes getting updated today. Quick look at satellite imagery from around the world. Big system heading into Europe this week. As well, big systems affecting North America. As well, high wind advisory, northern islands of Hawaii. Big low north of you. Big low pressure whipping up into Kamchatka. We have one tropical system to talk about. Tropical cyclone Darien still alive. Having a look at this very vast satellite imagery of a large cyclone. It's going to maintain its strength at a Category 1 heading westward. Not really affecting anything just yet. But a quick browse here. You can see a lot of red icons with the little wavies in the boats. That means we're seeing a lot of floods around the world. As well, extreme cold temperatures through the north. Now let's have a look at weather here. Brought to you by Ventu Sky. We do have one low pressure system over central United States and as well a low coming out of the Gulf here. And that's going to spring some extreme weather through the Gulf states and over into Florida tonight and into tomorrow. As that low pressure center rakes along the shorelines of the Gulf. Watch for extreme weather, especially southern tip of Florida. And then we've got a low pressure here, the Colorado low. And that's going to be the big weather maker here for this week. Wednesday into Thursday, just before Christmas, it starts to ramp up. Colder temperatures coming in behind that as we have an extreme cold warning dipping down as far south as Texas. Quite possibly even the Gulf. They will be seeing Minus double digits, Celsius that is, and a very big low here developing for Christmas. We're going to see a white Christmas for sure across the east and as well the west as you have a very large low off the Pacific there. Moisture coming in and lots of heavy snowfall through British Columbia, Vancouver. And that will dip to the southern states and midway. Overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times Wednesday into Thursday through Rio de Janeiro. 
and as well southward towards Buenos Aires. Pretty big stormy conditions Friday into Saturday, right around Christmas for Bolivia. Uruguay, big low pressure system there. Overlooking Africa. Daily evaporation rains, but could be heavy at times. Still watching that atmospheric river stretch off of the continent. Bringing lots of rain towards Madagascar as well through the long range forecast here. Overlooking Europe, you do have a very big low off the coast of Ireland. That's going to be whipping its way through this week, Thursday into Friday. And just before Christmas, you're going to see that low start to really bring in some moisture and some cold temperatures with it. Overlooking the Indies there, not much to talk about. Pretty dry this week. Tropical system, Darien, showing a forecast heading straight westward with another low converging with it possibly in the long range, and as well Australia, seeing a lot of rain, big low pressure system coming in from the north right around Christmas time as well. Long range forecast showing a tropical cyclone or typhoon here developing west of the Philippines. Heading up into Thailand. Another quick look here over the looking over the Pacific Ocean as we do have quite a few systems heading through this week. Watch for heavy snowfall up into the Aleutian Islands and Alaska. And in the long range, all this moisture is going to be raking up the BC coastline. Going to leave you here looking at temperatures around the world as we do have deep freeze moving in for parts of Western Canada and as well around Hudson Bay area. Long range forecast for temperatures around the world, all in Celsius. Much love everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to smack that like button, that button and share with your friends and family. Much love and God bless humanity. And happy holidays to all of you. Stay safe, stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.